Thanks for tuning in to Corselli's Morning Market Update. S&P futures are down a handle this morning. Crude oil is trading up 8 tenths of a percent. Natty Gas is up 1.3% to 293. A lot of talk about the supply glut of natural gas disappearing. Um, that in conjunction with we're exporting natural gas for the first time. Gold is down a quarter of a percent. Dr. Kappa is sort of flat, down a tenth, roughly. Um, coffee, coffee's up a half a percent. Sugar, sugar is up two tenths of a percent. I don't like sugar. Um, cotton, down six tenths of a percent. Moving on to equities in Europe. It's green all across the board. London's up 0.15%. On the low side of what's up in Europe to a high in, uh, let's see here, the FTSE MIB. It's a, it's, a, it's a very, very good day for equities in Europe. Uh, moving on to Japan, Japan slightly down, down 0.07 of a percent. Shanghai Composite is up 0.15 of a percent, not much action. Uh, moving on to... Top news. Top news out Apple ordered to pay a record $14.5 billion in EU tax crackdown. Wonder if there's any chance that they're trying to get this out of the way before the, the release of the iPhone 7. Um, quite possibly. Let's back up here for a second to the Treasury market. They're red, red. Uh, Brazil is bucking the trend. Colombia, Mexico, red. UK is getting a bid for the sovereign bonds. France, same thing. Germany, same thing. Italy, same thing. Spain is selling off, bucking the trend. Portugal is prices are higher, rates lower. Sweden, same thing. Netherlands is sort of flat. Uh, Switzerland's selling off a little bit, and Greece is selling off. So. Asia looks pretty green, with the exception being South Korea. I'm not sure if that's a geopolitical concern that's happening, but anyway, sovereign bonds are a mixed bag, some up, some down. Uh, U.S. Treasuries are definitely down this morning. Uh, yields are higher. Uh, top news. Uh, getting back to Apple. Apple, $14.5 billion. Uh, the settlement's happening in front of the iPhone 7 wonder if it's going to be enough to boost Apple stock price. Uh, there's not really too much excitement out on this refresh cycle. Uh, the stock, however, has been building. Um, it, it recently has sold off a little bit. Um, Apple stock is right now trading at, I believe, 10, I think it's 102 this morning. Let me just take a quick peek. Uh, Pre-market's 105 now. It was lower. It was 104. Um, Fed's Fisher says negative rates seem to work in today's world. Wow, that's kind of crazy. It's like saying there's zero gravity on the U.S. one day when we wake up and everybody's saying, wow, so zero gravity. But uh, So negative rates is supposedly working. Uh, LIBOR swell seen as respite from $9 trillion in negative yields. Let's dig into that a little bit. Let's take a look. Let's see what it says. Spike in short-term borrowing benchmarks brought on by pending rules will be permanent by buying more floating rate debt. All right, so some people are moving into floating rate as a hedge. Google, Amazon, buy for big inroad into Wall Street data trill. Trying to understand what causes flash crashes is no longer just for financial regulators on Wall Street. It's a big deal for Silicon Valley. So it seems like uh, Google and Amazon <coughs> want to understand flash crashes. Um, Brexit blow up, blows up currency derivatives sold to UK companies. Uh, looks like there's some pain caused by Brexit and the Bit, the massive move in, in the currency. Let's take a look at the dollar index. See how this thing's performing on an annual basis. Getting a bid. Just getting a bid. 
So this is since Yellen's comments. Um, I was actually quoted in a piece. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look. See. Let's take a look. See. It's quoted in Bloomberg yesterday by Mark Shank. Um, he put me out there uh, regarding the dollar. Just what made me think of it. But uh, I believe that um, the dollar here is uh, going to drive commodity complex, uh, oil, gold, uh, copper. The stronger the dollar gets, the weaker the commodities will get, or the less they'll be able to rally. Um, central bankers have been asking for fiscal stop stimulus. Uh, they're at the point of realizing the the weakness. They're at the point of realizing the limitations of monetary stimulus. We've reached the maximum capacity and now we need to stimulate the real economy. And there's only one way to do that at this point is structural reforms and the government just writing blank checks. So uh, central bankers were at Jackson Hole, Wyoming last week and they're begging governments around the world to stimulate global GDP. Um, so I'm saying here that dollar strength is the highest priority for the commodity complex right now because this isn't being driven based off of supply and demand. It's being driven off of currency. It's being driven off of other things like storage. It's being driven off of like oil is being driven off of all these other things and it's not really tracking um, the fundamentals of the market because if it were it would be collapsing the price of oil right now so dollar strength commodity weakness equity weakness no one really wants it that bad but we're gonna get it anyway moving on moving on here to some of the other top news out, Abercrombie shares fall after tourism decline weighs on results. Hershey failed deal reinforces image, so Hershey was being pursued, and that's it. Party's over. They've been walking away. German inflation unexpectedly slow, unexpectedly slows. How could German inflation unexpectedly slow, given the quantity of quantitative easing going on through the ECB? Maybe it's a little Brexit. Who knows? Investors bullish on growth buy stocks from ABB to Samsung. Um, investors are bullish on growth. How? I don't understand. Where is the growth coming from? My favorite commercial is that where's the beef? There is none. Uh, rich clan shape in Brazil. Narrative stays away from dark chapter. Brazil's a disaster. I'm not even going to go there this morning. Anyway, let's look at some of the economic data coming out uh, so there's some economic data from uh, this morning but we're gonna back up a day look at yesterday's uh, we went into it the main Dallas Fed manufacturing activity is down 6.2 percent everything else was okay so we get some data coming out at 9 o'clock um, you know core logics US Home price index, uh, consumer confidence coming out at at ten. So stay tuned. Um, we'll review this data tomorrow. Um, hope you have a great day. Take care. Ciao. Bye bye.